So in just a couple seconds, I want to show you John Fetterman's ad announcing his run for Senate in Pennsylvania. And guys, I think it's going to give you some goosebumps. There's a lot of great towns in Pennsylvania that people living there feel like their best days were a generation ago or more. No one deserves to be abandoned. These communities deserve to, to be helped. You are the mayor of Braddock, Pennsylvania, that's, correct? That's correct. Okay. Real estate prices have dropped 50%. Correct. The population has fallen from 20,000 to 3,000. You're encouraging people to move there, okay? All right, so I'm sold. But for people, people who don't get it, sell us on Braddock. I, I came to Braddock, you know, 20 years ago because I wanted to work and fight against the inequality that I saw raging in this country. Braddock was a marginalized, wholly abandoned community. But that's exactly where I wanted to, to spend my career. Fetterman wears Braddock on his sleeves, the zip code tattooed on one arm, the dates of murders on the other. The things that I learned you know, in Braddock is that every place matters. No place deserves to be written off. These places across Pennsylvania feel left behind. They feel, don't feel part of the conversation. That's why Donald Trump went to these small counties and held these big rallies. We cannot afford to take any vote for granted. We cannot afford to take any place for granted. Whether we're in a place like Braddock or a place like Emporium in Cameron County, the smallest county in Pennsylvania. Talk is cheap, but for the last 20 years, I've been working to represent, rebuild, and to advance in these places. As the community marks an important five-year milestone, people are really starting to have hope. Tomorrow will represent the, the fifth anniversary without a, a homicide in town. U.S. Steel plans to invest $1 billion in its Mon Valley Works and make them the most environmentally friendly in America. History was made in the Democratic primary for lieutenant governor. John Fetterman won the five-way race among Democrats. He's a different kind of character, I'll tell you. Yeah, well, uh, that Western Pennsylvania registered Democrat but voted for Trump. Fetterman can get a lot of those votes. We don't have to agree on everything, but I will always tell you what I believe is the truth. I'm going to fight not for one part of Pennsylvania, not for one party of Pennsylvania, but for one Pennsylvania, just the way I did as mayor, just the way I'm doing as lieutenant governor, and just the way I would as your next U.S. Senator. Look, that's a fantastic ad. Fetterman is the current lieutenant governor in Pennsylvania, and he is announcing his run for Senate. From a purely technical perspective, it's so well done, it's beautiful, it's well produced, but the message is what matters there. You have a guy here who is fighting for communities that have been forgotten, not just in Pennsylvania, and not even just in like industrial Rust Belt type areas, but all over the United States. For generations, like since the 1970s, certainly the 80s, there have been tons of working class communities that have been forgotten. And that while Republicans and even Democratic officials have always talked about rising GDP and rising house values and all these sorts of things in a meta sense that often glosses over the fact that those benefits have concentrated in certain cities and in certain parts of the country, often ignoring communities like Braddock, where this guy was mayor before he became lieutenant governor of the state. So, you know, you can talk about metadata all you want, but these communities are hurting, they continue to hurt, and they've been forgotten. But this guy hasn't forgotten. He hasn't. And I think that that's the sort of message the Democrats really need. Look, Biden did just a little bit of that. And it was what was probably the difference maker in states like Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. It probably made a difference. But imagine if there was a real authentic champion for working class America, like a Bernie Sanders or maybe a John Fetterman in the Senate. That could make a huge difference. He's not some big city elite candidate. The guy has progressive values, but he looks like a real working class dude. And, and appearances matter in politics. And this is the sort of guy that can win over some people that voted for Trump, not because of the racism, but because they really did have some limited economic anxiety 
and they voted out of rash, you know, I got to change something. Something's got to change. I don't care what the change is. It needs to change. This is the sort of candidate that can win those blue collar working class people, those white working class people back to the Democratic fold. It's crucial. I think this is the exact sort of messaging from the exact sort of candidate that can get it done. Now, there remain some questions about Fetterman. Back in 2016, he was a dyed-in-the-wool, unmistakable progressive. He endorsed Bernie when few Democratic officials endorsed Bernie back in 2016. And he's been a prominent supporter at times of Medicare for All and has called himself a Democratic Socialist. But in 2020, he didn't endorse anyone for president, not choosing to stand with Bernie, even though it was a lot easier to stand with Bernie. And so maybe that was him moderating. Maybe that was him saying that, you know, it's about defeating Republicans at all costs. But we will have to see as his campaign formulates, will it be as progressive as this man was when he was mayor of Braddock? I'm not sure, but what I do know is this is the exact sort of messaging and the exact sort of framing that the Democrats will need to use if they want to win more than 50 Senate seats, if they want to win big House numbers, and if they want to truly represent the full diversity of the American working class. This is a good start for Fetterman.